Hi, my name is Troy Johnson, and I'm the founder and webmaster of the African American Literature Book Club, which is better known as AALBC.com. Our website was started in 1997 and has grown to become the largest, most frequently visited website dedicated to books written by or about people of African descent. This video is to help authors connect with readers and readers to discover the wealth of information on our website, so let's get started. It's probably worth pointing out a few things before we get started. Um, one, um, this website is not run by a nameless, faceless corporation. It's run by me. Um, pretty much every everything on the website I designed, uh, the layout, the database, um, you name it. Um, so if there's anything that you would like to see on the website that's not here, if you have any suggestions on ways that we can improve, email me, troy at aalbc.com. I read all of the feedback. I may not be able to reply quickly or at all, but I absolutely read all of the comments and try to take advantage of them. Um, this website is a community. It's not just um, one person. It can't survive based upon one person doing something. It is a community, and so your feedback and your support is tremendously important. Uh, two, the website is over 18 years old, and naturally it's gone through a number of upgrades over the years. But right now I'm involved in the largest uh, upgrade in this website's history. I'm taking thousands of website, static web pages and migrating them into a, 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 a content management system that's been custom designed. Um, all of the books that are added to the website have been added manually, meaning you know this entire website is curated. Uh, so all of the authors listed, all of the books on the website, um, it's just not a massive feed of everything that's out there. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a subset of it, a subset that I think that you'll, you'll, you'll enjoy the most. And finally, this website is massive. Um, I can talk about this website for a solid hour and not cover everything that's available. Um, I'm going to try to distill this in, into five minutes. I'm already at two and a half, uh, so let's get the ball rolling. Um, the website is organized into a variety of uh, sections, uh, books, authors, events, articles. Um, this section is of other websites. I think it's uh, crucial that uh, we uh, promote other independent content providers, and I'll describe that in more detail in a moment, and also our popular discussion forums. So if we take a look at books, we have always published a list of bestsellers, but we're also including other lists, a list of African writers, important children's books, essential black books, uh, top imprints, and that list is going to expand a great deal over the upcoming months. We also are uh, attempting to chronicle all of the uh, African American winners of important book awards, um, including the Coretta Scott King Awards as an example. You can take a look, click here, and we can sort on the award-winning books uh, by year. Um, let's look at 2015. We'll see information about, we, we have information about um, each book, uh, videos. Um, some of these videos are exclusive to ALBC.com. Uh, if we clicked um, on, this, on Jacqueline Woodson's name, we would you know, see a photograph. Uh, social sharing buttons, um, her bio, a video we shot, all of her books. Now this website is optimized for mobile, so if you're on a mobile device, um, it will display um, very nicely on that device. Uh, and we and we we are seeing a lot of our traffic come from mobile devices, so this is really important for us. And when I say us, I mean all of us. All right. Um, Let's look at a particular book. Uh, because of the data that I collect about books, uh, I can bring up a wide variety of books. So not only did this book win a Coretta Scott King Award uh, last year, it also won a National Book Award. And if we click that link, we'll see all of the National Book Award winners from that year as well. Every author has a page on the website now, as we migrate content from our old website, um, you know, some of the bios may be missing. But when we're done, every author will have a photo, bio, 
uh, video if available, and clickable links. And we'll clean up these missing book, book covers as well. Let's go to events. We also have uh, uh, providing information about events nationally. So right now, our events cover all of the uh, national book fairs and festivals that we're aware of. Um, right now, there's 75 on the list that are coming up for the year. And, and of course, you can filter by state, um, even country in some cases. Um, you'll find links, descriptions of all the events. and um, Again, it's just a wealth of information that we're attempting to collect and provide for you. Um, and we think we'll, you'll find this valuable. Um, when I talked about other websites, um, there's one of the challenges for independent websites is to get visitors. And often it's difficult for, for these sites because they're just simply undiscoverable. So the Haria search engine searches um, content providers, independent, mostly black owned websites across the net. Sites that are, are currently undiscoverable simply because they're pushed so far down in search results. So I just did a search on my name and I can see other websites where I'm mentioning. In, in this case you see Heart and Soul, LA Sentinel, uh, Nat Turner. Um, if you haven't been to Nat Turner Chicken Bones, this is a tremendous website where you can learn information about oh God knows how many different things. Um, I also collect information on book clubs uh, and book clubs will increasingly become a more important portion of our website. I want to think of AOBC.com as sort of like the book club of book clubs if you will. So if we did a search on book clubs in New York for example and we took a look at and we'll see a you know, scores of book clubs here in New York. If we collect, if we click the Go On Girl book club um, in Farmingdale, you know, we get a picture of the book club if one's available, uh, video from the book club, uh, the size of the book club, contact information if you're interested in joining. Um, in this case, we actually have Go On Girls book club uh, uh, reading list on our website. And book clubs are welcome to share this information. There are forms that they can fill out and submit their information and um, to get their reading lists or their book club information on the website. The reason this is important is that now if I click, um, say, Pleasantville by Attica Locke, I can see that this book was selected by um, book clubs. I can also read, in this case, uh, a review of this book. Um, we, we, there's Hmm, that's disappeared and again a little wonky but um there are there are hundreds and hundreds of reviews that I have to move over and articles and you name it uh, there's a list of uh, bookstores across the nation if you're looking for bookstores in say California you know you'll see we have nine in our database including the world famous Isawan bookstore uh, we have uh, all of these bookstores on the map so that you can see which book clubs are our nearest you. Um, in addition to that we have uh, book websites again there are, there are these many of these websites you may not be familiar with simply because they're very difficult to discover um, so we have information you know information how long the site's been online um, who runs it um, and, and you name it. Um, in addition to that, we have uh, popular bloggers. We have um, magazines. We have newspapers. Um, you know, all of the independent newspapers across the country. You can select by, I'll select the you know New York so I can take a look at my hometown newspapers. Uh, and why? And we see you know one of my my favorite newspaper, uh, the New York Amsterdam News, but we also have the New York Beacon, New York Carib News, and more. Um, Korea Search searches all of those sites. 
all of those newspapers, magazines, blog site, bloggers, websites, you name it. So career search is a great way to discover what the black com what the online black community thinks about something. Our discussion forums again are, are a terrific way to share information about books uh, and to discover information about books. Uh, we have five five major sections: uh, African American liter literature forum, um, where I encourage authors to share information about their books. We have um, the culture, race, and economy book uh, uh, books uh, forum, um, where we talk about um, topical subjects, um, often engage in heated. Uh, and, and primarily constructive debate about events and on some of these um, forums we actually you know they're designed to, to come away with actual things that we can do uh, bloggers helping bloggers um, you know its primary purpose is to share information about uh, best practices uh, tips you know I recently shared information for example about a viral media post and as this post went viral, how much traffic did it generate? That was really, you know, you know, some people might find it very interesting that um, despite, you know, thousands of shares on Twitter, uh, this translated into very little traffic to the website. Uh, when con in stark contrast with sharing on Facebook uh, resulted in a tremendous amount of traffic. So helping each other understand the, the nature of social media is one of the things that um, this website does. Um, again, there's years and years of articles, years and years of reviews, uh, opportunities for authors to promote their books, both individual authors and, and publishing companies. Again, I can go on. I'm already at 12 and a half, almost 12 and a half minutes. But um, again, um, take a look at the website. You're sure to discover uh, something that, that might surprise you and hopefully, hopefully enriches your, your, your life. Take care. And thanks for watching if you watched this long all the way to the end. Bye-bye. <laughs>